How to use the different routing methods inside Practicad. Practicad offers a variety of routing methods that we can toggle through while we're drawing our duct. The routing methods are listed in the fitting parameter box. You can see we have piece, exact, up, down, single, and smart. This tutorial is going to teach you how to use the different methods and how to toggle through them while you're drawing duct in other places on the drawing. To start, we're going to focus with the piece method. Piece method is one of the simplest methods we have. What it does, it allows you to draw duct piece by piece. We're going to come here, place one piece of duct on the drawing, and once I click, you can see that it only places one piece. If I hit C4 continue, every mouse click I make will actually add one piece. You will notice that if I'm routing duct, I'm holding the crosshairs that the duct is not following or stretching because we can only do one piece at a time. However, we can switch from piece to different methods like exact or smart and route multiple pieces of duct on the drawing at once. Here we're going to grab a radius elbow and now we're going to switch it to exact. You can also hit E and the spacebar or enter key to switch it to the exact method. You could always see what letters or keypad commands trigger off what methods by looking in the command line. I'm going to place this duct on the drawing and once I've chosen my rotation, notice that it says in the command line, new, piece, exact, up, down, single, smart, and exit. The capital letter indicates the keypad command for each routing method. I believe that keypad commands will speed up the drafting process, so I recommend them, but you can always switch it in your fitting parameter box, whichever you prefer. So if I want to switch it between exact or piece, I could hit P for piece, which routes out just one elbow, or E spacebar for exact. What exact will do is it'll route the duct all the way out to where my crosshair is, and I can pull down to route duct in this direction. Notice the practicad has not extended the straights of this elbow. What it's doing is it's putting a variable length piece of duct right before the elbow. Exact uses full length pieces of duct and variable length pieces of duct to cover specific distances. However, you can switch it to a different method called SMART. To activate that method, I'm going to type in what it says in my command line here, M for SMART, spacebar, and you can see that it's been updated in the fitting parameter box. And now when we stretch, PractiCAD is going to extend the straights of the elbow. So we now have a larger elbow and full length duct. It eliminates small joints. So usually while you're drawing, you can toggle E space bar for exact, get little joints. Or if you feel you rather the straights extend, hit M space bar for smart. The next routing method we're going to go over is up and down. These two methods are almost identical. I'm going to toggle through by typing U spacebar so that we've got it on the up method. Up basically rounds up to the nearest joint. Notice that the crosshair, the second it gets past the connector out, Practicad puts a joint. It rounds up to the nearest joint. Down or D spacebar for down does the exact opposite. Down doesn't put a joint until the crosshair is at least a full length joint away from the last connection because it's rounding down joints. So once I get past about 60 inches here, it'll add a joint. It rounds down joints as opposed to U spacebar routing up. I usually just use the up routing method, but we do offer both. The last method is the single method, and there are multiple tutorials on the single method. Generally, single is for connecting duct between two points. It puts one large fitting in between two connection points. For example, here we're going to erase this duct. I could grab a transition or any fitting that would fit, snap to one side, type in I spacebar for single, Notice it's updated the fitting parameter box and then hold to my next point and it'll snap and attach. This will not work, of course, if you don't have your 
AutoCAD object snaps on, you can see currently that it says the endpoint node is lit, and that's because my O snaps are on. And make sure you go through the tutorials on controlling your O snaps. But single is used to attach one large fitting or small fitting between two pieces of duct. That'll conclude the tutorial on your routing methods in the fitting parameter box.